So I wanted to talk about the new Taylor Swift song because she's going to be releasing a new album. Everyone's crazy about it. Everyone's going nuts. And what do I have to say about it? Well, honestly, after hearing the song multiple times, I wanted to make sure I really got the gist of everything that maybe people are feeling and I'm not feeling it. I really like the positive message of the song basically saying more about being you, I guess, and not just conforming to someone's wants and needs, I guess. But after that, it's, it feels so typical. I, I couldn't get into it. It just, to me, felt like they were trying to incorporate Panic! at the Disco's last album sound with a Taylor Swift sound. It kind of, it, it melds fine, but to me, it just, like, the progression of the vocalizations and everything just felt so, like, edited and everything, and I just, I was actually, I was really, what well, I was hoping for a new Taylor Swift song, I was hoping she would go into a totally different direction, but it feels like she's kind of, like, going backwards a little bit with the song. Usually, honestly, the singles for Taylor Swift have never been her strong suit, it's always the other songs, so I'm looking forward to the album, for sure. I mean, I didn't mind her last album, Reputation, and I sure as heck did, like, 1989. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the album, but that album, fire, man, fire. And, of course, Speak Now is probably one of my personal favorites. But, honestly, the productions on this are just so over the top, and it's supposed to be. I mean, have you seen the music video? I love the aesthetic of the music video. And the, the music around it definitely feels like it's a part of it, you know. It's just, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't scream, this is a great song. This is, like, something that we worked endlessly hard on. But I know Taylor Swift's capable of way more, but if this is an introduction to a new, like, more bright version of Taylor Swift, then okay, fine, whatever. I'm down for whatever she puts out. Still gonna listen to it, and I'm still gonna find something good about it, because overall, this isn't a bad song. It's not a great song. It's just an okay song. And honestly, Brendan Urie doesn't add that much to the song. I'm just saying, he just, it feels like he's more of a background noise, if anything. It's like, I came for T-Swift. I mean... Brandon Yuri is okay, you know, he does have a really powerful voice and they don't really utilize it. They should have utilized it a little better in the song, but anyways, these are just my thoughts on the song. I hope you enjoyed this video and peace.